today I've travelled to Northampton. Uh, I'm at Scott Bennett Engineering. I came here a couple of years ago. I'm back again to talk to Rob Bennett here, uh, who's the managing director of the company, about yet another star sliding head lathe. Um, Rob, things must be going well for you. Yeah, business is buoyant at the moment. I think generally in the subcontract machining world it is. Nobody knows about Brexit, of course, but then at the moment we can only deal with what's around us at the moment. Uh, why did you buy this next machine then, Rob? You've got plenty of them already. What was the, what was the driving factor? We had a very old sliding head machine. It's uh, 21 years old. It was becoming difficult to maintain. Parts were becoming obsolete to service it. We just felt the time was right to offload it and get another star. How did that sort of, uh, did you do a part exchange with staff to start with? Is that how it all happened? Did they make it easy for you? Yeah, we did. We did a part exchange. They were very accommodating. They arranged the pickup, took the machine away, uh, delivered the new star, and we, were, uh, we stopped production on a Monday morning. Old machine went out, new star came in on the Tuesday. We were making parts on the Friday. Excellent. Really? So that shorter window where you had no spindle turning, so you would have made that time up pretty quickly, I would assume, as well as a result of the new machine. Yeah, the parts are coming off um, complete and they were also coming off slightly quicker, so win all round for us, really. Let's have a look at this part here. If I give that to you there, Rob, can you tell us how you were doing this before and where the savings have been with the new machine? Yeah, previously on our old slider, we would uh, drill tap and maybe cross drill, but we couldn't finish the back end because we didn't have a sub spindle. So what we did was uh, we would have to deburr it manually on a pillar drill and that was taking up time and a person's uh, employment. So what we now do is we do it all complete, comes off in one, quick clean, pack up and away to the customer. Right, so a seamless process now. Yeah, much better, much better. Um, what about the actual technology with the machine beyond the one hit machining? Are these machines getting even faster these days? The software uh, upgrades that Fanuc have brought in have enabled faster machining, faster tool overlap, and you can produce parts quicker and more accurately. What about the handling of different sizes of parts, uh, different materials? Do you get involved in, in many challenging jobs? Uh, we don't tend to do so many. We, we, we do with the stainlesses, but they tend to be the more free cutting stainlesses. Some of the tougher steels we have done, but in our industry, in our sectors, we don't get involved in them. When you look at a sliding head lathe, Rob, do you always just go straight back to star? I mean, there are other players in this market, but you do seem to be quite blue in here. Is it, is it down to um, the technology? Is it down to the, the support that they offer you? Why do I not see different brands in here other than Star on this, uh, on this type of machine? Well, there are uh, obviously other uh, sliding head manufacturers out there, but I think once you've got one of one brand in, the tooling, the training, the work holding, everything is a lot easier and cost-effective to stick with a known brand. And Star's service and support, first class.